Yemen is the second largest country in the Middle East after Saudi Arabia. Yemen covers an area of 530,000 square kilometers. It has a population of over 34.7 million. Yemen is having a coastline of approximately 2,000 kilometers. Most of the population, over 99.6% are Muslims. Healthy militia are controlling the most populous areas of Yemen, including the capital, Sana'a. Houthis are supported by Iran. Politically and religiously, they had been under attack by the American missiles since 2011 and drones as well. They are fighting the government. Forces, Saudi supported militias, Al Qaeda, and Western forces proxies inside Yemen. In the civil war for, for a decade, American forces strike healthy forces in Yemen. Yesterday, American sees Iranian weapons shipment heading to militants. American Central Command says Coast Guard cutter boarded ship that had more than 200 packages of weaponry were seized. Iran is blamed for feeding these munitions to the Houthis in Yemen. Colonel Buccino Colonel Buccino affirmed the U.S. must strike Iran to get to the heart of the matter on America reports. The American Central Command CENTCOM said in a statement that its forces successfully conducted for strikes against seven mobile anti-ship crews, missiles, three mobile unmanned vehicles and one explosive unmanned surface vessel in healthy controlled areas of Yemen that were prepared to launch against ships in the Red Sea. CENTCOM identified these mobile missiles. UAVS and USV in Yemen and determined an imminent threat to U.S. Navy ships and merchant vessels in the region. These actions will protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer and more secure for U.S. Navy and merchant vessels. Iran declares Antarctica its property in direct challenge to Biden, global treaty. These packages were found to contain components for medium-range ballistic missiles, explosives, parts for unmanned underwater and surface vehicles, military-grade communication and network equipment, assemblies for anti-tank guided missile launchers, and other military components, as stated by CENTCOM. General Michael Carilla, the commander of CENTCOM, stated in a response, this is another instance of Iran's harmful activities in the region. Iranian ongoing provision of advanced conventional weapons to the Houthis directly contravenes international law and continues to pose a threat to the safety of international shipping and the unimpeded flow of commerce. CENTCOM further stated its commitment to collaborate with allies and partners to counteract the distribution of lethal aid from Iran in the region through all lawful means.